we are learning about how to add pegs to all of our different layers. Now at this point you should have all of your pivot points positioned according to the drawing pivot points and you should have these on all of your pieces of your quarter front view as well as all of the different pieces that you have in your front view. So you should have all of your legs separated with the pivot points positioned. Um, now once you have all these steps done what we want to do is add uh, pegs to all of our different elements because at the moment if I select my transform tool I can't go and uh, move these around since I've turned off the internal peg uh, of, the, uh, of the drawing layers. So what I need to do in order to be able to move them is I need to add a peg to them. So one quick way that I like to do it instead of going one by one and creating a peg by pressing Control P and this is actually a, a little trick that comes in quite handy when you have multiple pegs to choose from is I select all of my drawing layers you can do so either from your timeline or from the network view and I'm going to press Control Shift P and this will automatically create a peg for each of your drawing layers and name them according to the name of your layer so simple as that you now have a peg for each of these and what I need to do in order to be able to read the pivot point on each of the pegs that I have is that inside of my drawing layers options if I click on the little yellow box that I have here I need to make sure that under the uh, transformation tab I have my drawing pivot to be said to apply embedded pivot on parent peg. Now by default it's not going to be as parent peg it's going to be as apply embedded pivot on drawing layer just like this so now if I go and select my forearm which I've just changed it's not reading the drawing pivot properly it's actually reading the pivot point at the very center of my scene so if I want to have the pivot point set properly I don't need to go into every single one of my drawing layers and select the apply pivot on parent peg because that would take a very good amount of time so what I want to do instead is select all of my layers by pressing control A or command A on Mac and I'm going to use a script so if you don't have the scripting toolbar that I have here you can bring it from Windows toolbars and you can go and get the scripting toolbar that I have here once you have this in we have two buttons at the start manage script and stop script we're going to open up manage script and this is actually actually what will enable me to come and bring in some scripts as multiple buttons that I can use inside of my scene so TB, all the ones that start with TB are actually scripts that were created by Toon Boom. so among these you have multiple scripts that you can play with so the one that I'm interested in is called TB enable drawing pivot which I have right here so if I click on this I can see the different functions it could have multiple ones uh, for this one we just have it here so we want to make sure that it's inside this window here just as we did with the workspace you want to press the arrow to make sure that it's inside of our toolbar as mentioned here and once you have it you can press OK so now in my toolbar I have the option to enable drawing pivot I have my little symbol here that I can use so I select all of my drawing modules and then I can press on that script and it will automatically set all of my pivot points to read uh, to feed their pivot information to the peg so now you can actually start testing if your uh, joints are working properly so if I rotate it like this it shouldn't pop out of my character's arm same thing for all of the different pieces now of course they're all moving individually because we don't have a hierarchy set up just yet but that will be in the next step 
Right now, just make sure that everything rotates to perfection. And once that is done, we're going to be able to keep on moving.